But let me say this. Let's put Al Sharpton, uh, Louis Farrakhan, uh, Jesse Jackson, Oprah Winfrey, Barack Hussein, the long-legged Mac Daddy Obama, let's put them in a coffin. And I'm not talking about killing them. That's not what I'm talking about doing. But put them in a spiritual coffin. Now, I want to tell you something. I am absolutely, positively, stomp down convinced that Al Sharpton and the crowd name I just mentioned deserve to have a transference to their life, all of the pain of the death, the misery, the suffering, the poverty that goes on uh, as a result of their racial, racist, rape baiting and rhetoric. They have created a lot of pain across America and a lot of families and people are suffering and after at the Gettysburg uh, racial reconciliation and healing meeting this 4th of July at that event, uh, when we walked out of there and that afternoon, after everything is over with, Al Sharpton will no longer have any influence. I believe that he'll probably get fired by MSNBC. And the media will then focus on persons such as myself. Now, I pray that you would not think that's vain. I've asked you to forgive me because that's not what I mean. That's not my intent. It's just that there's going to be a, there's going to be a shifting of the polar uh, social understanding, and Al Sharpton might as well be put in a coffin, especially a spiritual one uh, and all the others that I named. I want you to listen to some statements I've made about how this is going to come to be. Let me ask you a question. Would you like to see an event in America where thousands of black people came to a very important and critical place in American history that has traditionally been seen as a place where uh, white people review history, namely Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, and uh, the, uh, the Great Killing Field? And tens of thousands of black people rolled out of Chicago, out of Detroit, out of Atlanta, out of Charlotte, out of Newark, out of Baltimore, out of Philadelphia, and poured onto the Gettysburg killing fields and says, we come to unite with America. We come to honor these dead that died honorably these white soldiers that died honorably to end slavery in America. We black people come to pay tribute to them, to their children, to their grandchildren, and to all of their posterity. We as blacks living in this great nation wish to raise up the heroic deaths that took place here at Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, of white men who died that black men might be free and we're gonna forever honor these who died honorably. Now, what do you think if 10, 20,000 black people gathered at Gettysburg at the Light of Peace Monument and with one voice spoke that to America? First of all, the media would have to respond to it. But the second thing, it would be like a California wildfire. It would spread across America that black people have come by the tens of thousands to say we love America. And we thank God for the Civil War and its ultimate end and victory. And particularly here where Abraham Lincoln, one of the greatest presidents for black people ever, uh, gave the greatest speech in the history of politics, the Gettysburg Address. Well, the new media would have to pick it up it would have to be talked about in the churches. And what it would effectively do is that persons such as Al Sharpton would be then put back on his heels and his racist rhetoric, his racism will be roundly rejected. It will be observed as having been part and parcel 
of the gang banging, the failure of blacks and whites in America to unite. The same would be the uh, judgment on Jesse Jackson, but greater would be the judgment on Barack Hussein Obama because we'll have 10 to 20,000 white people joining hands with the 10 to 20,000 black people saying we are now a United States of America. And what Obama failed to do, he was given the mantle of presidency to unite America. That's why he was voted for, even though many people were suspicious of his character and is adverse to Dr. King's uh, judgment of man by the content of his character, more so than the color of his skin. But we will go to Gettysburg and we're saying we're going to give the presidency back for just one day to President Abraham Lincoln. We're going to give the presidency back to him who gave the great Gettysburg Address, who signed the Emancipation Proclamation, who in the face of fear did not fear that slavery and all of its debauchery should end. And black people are gonna say, we're gonna take the presidency from Barack Obama and we're gonna give it back to President Lincoln. As we march from these hallowed grounds going back across America, spreading a message of unity and love, we're gonna kick racism and embrace, embrace capitalism. We're gonna stop the fatherless, decapitated nation of black women and children and no black men. We're gonna become homeowners, business owners. We want a part of the American pie. The sweet potato pie wants a part of the American pie. The apple pie, and the apple pie wants a part of the sweet potato pie. Yes! That's what we're going to do. But my friends, the thing that you have not considered and one that you need to give great consideration to at this hour is that Al Sharpton will no longer have a voice or people to spew his racist rhetoric to. Yeah, because people are going to get converted. They're going to get baptized there in the power of the Holy Ghost and love for America. They're gonna get baptized in the American flag and the American pie. He'll have nobody black to spew his racist rhetoric to. Obama will have nobody black to pimp anymore. The Democrat party will be put on notice that black people are no longer for sale on the political slave block. Black people will no longer vote for a Democrat simply because they're a Democrat and there's a promise of greater food stamps. We don't want food stamps anymore. We want our own supermarkets. We don't want housing subsidies anymore. We want to be homeowners with equity. We don't want the banks being charged with predatory lending. We want to own the banks. We don't want our schools crumbling and, and becoming places where learning doesn't happen and our children are growing up idiots. We want to have the finest universities possible. We want to stop seeing our men go off to prison because because of the rhetoric and because of the short-sightedness and the absence of love in Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton and Obama, Cornell West and all the rest, but we want to end the prison population. We want to raid the prisons in America that are warehousing black fathers and black brothers and sons and teach them to kick racism and embrace capitalism and began to be fathers to their children. We want to put the prophet Elijah on the prison population that they, their father's hearts may be returned to the children. But the great event will happen there is that you will never have to worry about our shop than being the order of the day in black life anymore. 
You'll never have to worry about Jesse Jackson or, Al, or old Barack Hussein Obama or Oprah Winfrey being the center of black life anymore. No, we are going to latch on to the coattails of Abraham Lincoln and black people are going to embrace the wonderful opportunities. These people will have a death nail. Gettysburg, Pennsylvania racial and reconciliation and healing meeting, the sweet potato and apple pie revolution will drive a 10 penny nail into the coffin of Al Sharpton and he shall be no more. He'll have no more importance. Louis Farrakhan will no longer have an importance. Y'all have had your day. You had a million man march and went back to Chicago and started killing by the millions, Louis Farrakhan. You've had your day. But when you got 10 to 20,000 blacks and 10 to 20,000 whites, Al Sharpton will no longer be the order of the day, nor the center of black life, neither Jesse Jackson, Oprah Winfrey, or Barack Hussein Obama, but a 10 penny death nail will be nailed into their coffin. My friends, this is the gospel. My friends, this is good news because when the news media picks it up, when the Wall Street Journal, the New York Times, the Washington Post, and all the others pick up what's going to happen at Gettysburg. The epitaph will be written and connected to the Gettysburg Address and connected to the Great Battlefield. It'll be connected to the Emancipation Proclamation and there'll be a new day that will dawn in America on the 5th of July where black and white will study war no more. A new day will dawn on this great nation as unity becomes the order of the day and the race baiters and the snakes and all that crowd that have spread so much hatred, disunity, discord, and disillusionment will no longer have a voice. They will be silenced by the blood and by the power of Abraham Lincoln over Barack Hussein Obama. I'm James David Manning, strategic organizer of the event. You know, I pray that most of you will have good sentiments about me now and going forward. But I can tell you this, should Gettysburg become the success that is working out and shaping up to be, I will have a voice in America that will be a voice of truth. I will have a voice in America that will be a voice of unity, a voice of liberty. I will have a voice of righteousness. And my voice will be the voice sought after rather than the voice of Al Sharpton. Now, please don't think that somehow or another this is vainglory. I'm going to ask you if somehow or another what I have just said appears in your heart that I am vain or that I'm seeking glory. I'm going to ask you to please, 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 please forgive me because that's not my intent. I just want to show you what the future can be. Should I get an opportunity to represent black and white America? with an even hand of justice and love and righteousness. That's all I want to say. That's all I want to say. I don't mean to be vain. Please, please forgive me. And if you can't forgive me, just believe that it'll be a better day if I'm speaking to America than Al Sharpton or Jesse Jackson or Barack Hussein Obama or Louis Farrakhan or Oprah Winfrey. Please understand it'll be a better, better day be a new day in the morning in America on July the 5th. Will you unite with me? James David Manning. You're going to hear more about the event, how we're going to call it to happen. Please make every effort you can, every effort you can to participate in every way you can. And let nothing stop you from being at Gettysburg on the 4th of July, along with at least one other friend. If you're white, bring a black person. If you're black, bring somebody white. I'm James David Manning, everybody. 
I'm the Lord's servant, and I got a nail in my hand for the coffin of Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson, Louis Farrakhan, and Barack Hussein Obama. Mm. 